So when you have a camera like the Sony a6600, it's easy to swap out the lenses to get better quality. But if you're using something like the Sony ZV-1, is it better to live stream in HDMI using a capture card or to use USB using like software like Ecamm Live? Today, we're gonna be comparing the two images and which one I think looks better for live streaming. Let's get into it. So this question often comes up when it comes to live streaming on software only using the USB method for live streaming on various cameras or when it comes to HDMI. And what we found on the Canon camera before was that like on the M50, it's very minimal difference, nothing that's super noticeable to anybody. And especially if you're using Wi-Fi, it kind of doesn't matter. So right now we're looking at the image for the Sony ZV-1 straight out of the camera using the standard picture profile. So it's not graded or anything like that. And this is the same position that I had before when I was using my Sony a6600 at 16 millimeters f1.4. Only thing is this one is that f1.8. And if that sounds a little foreign to you, it just means the background is a little bit blurry the image gets a little bit brighter. But when it comes to live streaming, if you're gonna be doing something like this via HDMI, this is the image that you can expect out of it. And sometimes people say that the image out of USB looks worse, significantly worse, and so they opt for this method solely off quality. And I don't think that's really the case. So let's switch over to USB only using Ecamm Live because their uh, imaging software for Sony that they released actually is not available for Mac. So I would need a PC to test that. So let's use Ecamm Live using the USB method. So let's switch over. All right, so here we are on the Sony ZV-1 using USB. And in order to do this, you do need to make a few changes in the camera. You wanna go to the menu, you wanna go over to the network setting and you wanna activate the PC remote control. And so with this, it gets a little weird when you are using the camera actually. You wanna make sure that you have this enabled, otherwise it'll go into like this mass storage mode as if you needed to transfer footage from the camera into the computer like it usually would do. Also, one of the cool things about the Sony ZV-1 is that even though you are live streaming via HDMI or you're live streaming via USB, you still get the option to actually have eye detection autofocus that recently came out for the A6100 and the A6600 cameras in video. So while some camera systems require you to take your glasses off for the eye detection to work, I have not found that to be an issue with the Sony cameras. The only thing that I would say is make sure that you are well lit and so that's just making sure your subject is well lit. You can still be in a dark environment, but that way it can actually pick up the eye if that's something that you care about, or you can just kind of tap your face and have face tracking on. But I've not had any flaws with USB or HDMI if you're live streaming. So let me know, was it a significant difference for you for HDMI versus USB? I think at the end of the day, it's negligible as far as the quality because most people are not even watching at the highest quality that you can produce, especially if they're on their phone. But I've done tons of videos and as long as you have a good lens, you're always gonna get great quality. And with the ZV-1, they actually have good glass in there so you don't have to worry about whether it's USB or HDMI, it's just really a preference and what works for you to help you get the image that you want while you're live streaming. So let me know, what do you wanna see more of with the Sony ZV-1 when it comes to video and using it for your business? I'll see you guys in the next video.